right, today I'll just be showing you this Tesla coil I made today. I've actually been working on it for quite a while now, but I just finished it today because I finally got some high voltage that I can use. Well, I'll get this thing set up so we can watch it. Okay. Set this button up. Is the spark gap? Okay. Here's where the toroid goes. I've got a light bulb to test, high voltage capacitor, bug zapper. Gotta fix the button on here. There we go. All fixed. Red lights on. My parents said I couldn't take this apart, so I just attached the negative and positive um, parts of the racket. Here's the spark gap again. It's pretty tiny because there's not that much voltage. And I just hacked this out of a microwave oven. And let's see if I can get a spark on my finger. Don't know if that don't know if the camera can see that. There's a spark. It's pretty weak. But anyway, the primary coil is right there. Secondary coil. Um, the wires are not connected at all on the coils. I just use some speaker wire. And then I use some magnet wire. And let's see it on the light bulb. You know what? I'll dim the lights so that you can actually see it doesn't glow that much. Alright, here we go. Alright, and the lights are dimmed. Okay. Get this on there. Don't know if the camera can see that, but it is glowing, glowing <laughs> quite dimly. It's harder to see because of the spark gap making light and reflecting off the bulb but there it is the UV radiation from the wire the little tiny wire onto the bulb then I need to fix up my toroid but it just goes on right here then the wire goes on but it's not made very good so I'll have to fix it up Alright, I'll try fixing it. Alright, there it is. And I'll turn this on. And this is my very first Tesla coil, so it's not that strong. Maybe when I'm much older, I'll use a microwave oven transformer. That's pretty strong. Let's see. Do I fix this? Still not as good as the plain wire. Doesn't have a the wire doesn't have a very good connection onto it. So all right, let's try and fix this wire on here. Here we go. Alright, let's see if this will work better. Here we go. Fix the button. There's the spark gap. Okay. I can feel a shock. 
but I don't know if the camera can see it, because I can't see it. Oh well. Looks better without the toroid, but I guess I could attach a screw onto here so it has a point instead of me having to use this. It would work better if it was completely round. But, oh well. We got the button again. I need to find a way to keep the button down. It's just held down by electrical tape. Which isn't sticking very well. Okay. The outer grid on the net is positive and the inner grid is negative. Or at least that's what I assume. Because I felt the outer grid and it didn't shock me at all. So. That's what I'm guessing. Let's see if we can get it darker again, and let's see a spark on my finger. Alright. Ooh, nice one. Button again. I wish I could find a way to get the spark gap just right. <sighs> the button again. Alright. Get the spark gap just right so that I keep sparking. again. There. Getting some good sparks there. Alright. Well, my first ever Tesla coil. That was a nice long one. I moved it further away so the capacitor fully charges. And it gets a nice long spark. <laughs> 